Hey guys, what's up? For this DIY, you'll need letter stickers, a ruler, fabric paint, a sweatshirt, and a paintbrush or sponge. First, take your sweatshirt and mark where the center is and about three inches down from the middle of the collar. Now, I use chalk here. You can use tape or pins. Just mark it some way. Now, this is for this kind of basic sweatshirt. If you're going to do this on another shirt that maybe has a lower neckline, you might have to go a little bit higher. Here is another shirt that I use the same technique on. And this neckline is much lower than the sweatshirt's neckline, two inches down. So you might have to adjust this depending on the neckline of the top that you're using. Now you will take your letters and stick them to your shirt. I like to start in the center point. So whether it's several words or just one word, I like to work from the center and work my way out. I kind of eyeball it and then I kind of went in and measured the space in between each as well. So now I'm just gonna paint on top of all of my letters. You can be more organized with this and maybe make a square or move your letters down and do a heart shape but I'm just gonna kind of just fill it in and just kind of make it up as I go so you can do like that or you can take a stippling brush I have a sponge here so I'm gonna get into that just use whatever technique that you would like so I just kind of went around all the letters just to get started and I accidentally got some paint right here so I'm going to work that right into the design. Everything will just come out from there. This DIY is very forgiving. As I'm still working on this, I wanted to just let you know real quick that I do not have anything in between my fabrics here. Sweatshirt fabric tends to be pretty thick, so I know that I'll be safe. But if you want to do this on something that's thinner, um, put a piece of plastic or a piece of cardboard in it to protect the other side. When you're satisfied with your paint job that you have, you're going to go in and peel off the letters before everything dries. Here are all of my letters up, but as you can see, there's a couple of splotchy parts here. I haven't used these kind of stickers before. They are vinyl and they're not super sticky, so they didn't stay down that well, but I think it still looks nice since this is kind of like a rough around the edges kind of look. I think it looks okay that some of them aren't exactly perfect. Again, here's this shirt, and I just want to show you that these were actually paper stickers, and they were very sticky and stuck very well, so this print came out very clean and crisp. I would suggest using paper stickers or just anything that's really sticky on the back. Like I said, these vinyl ones didn't stick that well, but I think it goes with the whole look of this sweatshirt. And I am done. Now all I have to do is just let it dry. And then after this dries, I'm probably going to get a thin piece of cotton cloth and just press it real quick to heat set it. The bottle doesn't say that you have to do that. Just extra little security there. I know I like to do a lot of extra security things. <laughs> Alright, till next time. Bye! <laughs>